We are live and uncut. Let's recap Sergio Moro versus Sergio Moro versus Mosley. So Mosley Moro. The first fight, Ponce de Leon went against Escalante. If you look at it quick enough, it looked like Escalade. But uh, he built a name for himself on ESPN, Friday Night Fights. And in the local area of California, he's a somebody. But he ran into somebody who was a somebody and showed him that he was really a nobody. It was just the power of Ponce de Leon that kept putting him down. He just couldn't take that thunder, and that pressure was just too much for him. But who hasn't he done that to? Then in our second fight, we have Vicious Berry and Harris, the Battle of the Vicious to see who was going to be called Vicious forever. <laughs> and the loser was just going to be called Vivian. <laughs> you know, from the outset, you can tell uh, Victor Ortiz is just ten times the size of Vivian Harris. But he was way too big for Vivian Harris. Vivian Harris is actually pretty small for his uh, size. And he's been in too many wars right now he's taking too many heavy shots and ever since that one mental lapse he had he hasn't been able to recover so he was down once down again down another time he just kept going down so every highlight you're going to see is him going down and Rolando is strong man he picked up <laughs> <laughs> he picked up Victor like he was some like a bag of chips. But the next fight you have Canelo. El Canelo, Saul Alvarez. And that fight with Tata Balamir was the one I was intrigued with because Balamir has got more skill than anybody he's ever faced on this planet. And I thought it was going pretty good at first. Balamir won the second. Then it's like after the second round, he was done. And Elo just was picking him apart, and he looked every bit of 39 and just out of the game than, than anybody else. But he had flashes of his old former self, but he just he can't do it anymore. His heart is just not in him performing in boxing in the ring anymore. So he just got him a quick check. But here's a thing about Canolo that a lot of people don't really know that I told y'all guys a year ago he is more popular in Mexico than Chavez Jr. and I said that a year ago because this kid as an amateur had people flocking in to see him fight why and I'm not going on a racial thing here people it's just the way it is he looks Caucasian He's, uh, it's not normal. You know, it's just like, um, in every other, like, aspect, like, as far as, like, white tigers, the great white buffalo, the pale horse, if something was white out of that, you know, out of the bunch, it was considered to be unnatural. It was, you know, like a big deal. That's why when they see the albino tigers or the white lions, everybody's, whoa, the white lions, the white tigers, because it was unusual. The same thing applies to him. He's got the red hair. He's got the freckles. And that's why they call him cinnamon. I have a friend that's just like him. You know, he has the same thing. He doesn't look Mexican. So now he's not like the only one, but they call him red. You know, they call him rojos because he's got red hair he's got like the light pigmentation and he's Mexican so it, it happens every once in a while but you know this guy here they he's boxing and that's that's what they're selling he's got a baby face he looks Caucasian but he's not and the chicks are nuts over him they have posters that were selling of him when he was an amateur and he's going to do great things as far as uh, boxing skill because he has a lot of power. It shows he can go up to 54 and carry some power with him. But it'll be interesting to see who he fights at 147. 
and see what uh, P will be able to bring some, you know, some thunder there in that division because I think 147 could be hot. But moving right along to the main event, which really was the disappointment of the entire night because Moore decided to show too much respect to Shane and he's posturing and posing and nothing really happened really the whole fight Shane just looked every bit of 39 and really needs to retire him continuing to fight makes zero sense zero I mean he threw he was loading up for one shot all night throwing power one power punch and then he was just like scraping out just to try to get out the night and that's that's not the Shane Mosley I'm used to seeing at all and more really, if he'd have stepped it up earlier, really would have done a lot of damage. This fight was this fight really was closer than a lot of people expected. Everybody's like, "A draw!" Listening to Jim Lampley and Merchant, the fight was really I had it one fifteen, one thirteen for Mosley. Just because Sergio decided to pose too much in the earlier rounds. He was giving away rounds he really didn't have to give away. That's why they should take this decision and run. It's a draw. It's fine. Move forward with y'all careers. And Shane, I don't want to see him fight Pacquiao. I, I bet you Pacquiao will fight him now. He'll line up to fight Shane Mosley now. It's Pacquiao move. Carcino, and I'm out.